But the helicopter is actually flying right now. Like, look at this. Hello, this is Spider Rock, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock add-on showcase video. Today, we're going to be checking out the Block Motion Moving Buildings add-on by Gormisha. Gormisha. I hope I said that mildly okay. This is an add-on that allows you to have, well, moving blocks inside of Minecraft. Yes, planes, boats, cars, you can build them and make them move. Trains even, I feel like trains are the coolest thing I've ever seen with this. It's a little buggy and stuff. Also, if you're wondering why I look weird, yes man, maybe this cool skin, and I figured I would use it a little bit. I do like it. I think it's a little different from my normal skin, but I, you know, it looks pretty cool. So why not use it in the video? Anyway, uh, there's really only two main things with this add-on as of right now, which I'm assuming it will probably get more updates soon, are wrench and controls, and we'll get to both of them in a minute. Now you uh, can get all of this stuff in survival as well, which is pretty neat. Maybe later I'll make one of these houses move. Ooh. Um, but you can get this stuff in survival. It is survival friendly. You can craft it. Uh, but I want to make something move. So let's start with, you know, just uh, just a couple blocks. I'm going to grab some planks, maybe some cobblestone. I'm going to see if I can make something that kind of like flies that way. So I'm going to build up and out because I don't want to get any of this terrain inside of my build. I'm just going to build out to here. And then I'm going to have like a little, maybe a little platform like this. And then a little thingy here. Okay. Uh, and then just to make my little boundaries that I'm going to be placing this on, I'm going to go ahead and use my wrench to select from here to here. So hopefully all of this should be selected and then I'm going to break all of this. So with the wrench, you just interact with two different points uh, and it will select the area. Now deselecting an area is an absolute pain. I'm not going to lie because sometimes it connects and sometimes it deselects. It would be nice if there was a custom item just for deselecting. I think that would be really useful. Anyway, now that we have this area selected, this is what I'm going to move. I want to move it that way, the direction that I'm facing. So I'm gonna take my controls and I'm gonna place it in that direction. So think of it like a steering wheel. If I was using a steering wheel, I would place it facing the direction that I wanna use the steering wheel. And then you just interact with it to flip the switch and bam, you have a moving block. Yes, this is actually flying. And not only that, it carries the player with it. So you can see I'm actually flying right now. I'm on this flying platform. There is one more thing you'll need though from normal Minecraft and that's a diamond hoe. Now all you have to do is interact with this and you can increase the speed or at least you can open the speed uh, interference mode and then you can do it. There we go. So now I can set it to two blocks per second, 2.2, 2.4, 2.6, 2.8, 3.2, 3.2. So I think it's maxes out at 3.2, but I am on a flying Minecraft car right now. Like it's actually moving and you can see if I get off of it, it, it it's going pretty quickly. You can also crouch and interact uh, to slow it down. And I believe there's different config things that you can set up. There's like a config file that allows you to configure this. So if this uh, max speed is lagging your game too much, but I'm going to crouch and interact, bring this down to uh, just, you know, one block per second, I think is a good. Uh, nope. Okay. I broke it. Oops. So this should be like around one block per second. There we go. So I, I could let this just keep flying off in this direction, but I'm worried it's going to, um, oh, hey, this is carrying me with it. I'm worried it's going to cause my game to like too much. So I'm going to just turn that off for now. Uh, I do want to try building some other things. So there's other cool things you can do with this. Maybe I might try and build a, a makeshift helicopter, I'm thinking. And I want to make a, a helicopter. This is not going to be a nice looking helicopter, by the way. It's going to be... A makeshift helicopter it's going to exist because i'm like i want to make a helicopter but because i want to show a really cool feature of this item so let me just build this out a little bit get rid of all of these old blocks i do not need here we go and then i'm gonna build off of this so i'm thinking you know three iron bars here and then you know some more iron bars here this is what helicopters look like right and they have like the iron bars that go back there and then you know you can have Maybe I should even make it. Okay, no, this is good. This is good. Uh, and then this is going to be like this. And then I'll extend this out like one more here. And then I can have this come up like this. You know, just basic helicopter stuff. Like, you know, anyone who's ever, who knows anything about helicopters, knows this is exactly what helicopters look like this. I feel like this is looking more like Santa's sleigh than like an actual helicopter, but you know, we, we make do with what we have here. So let me just, uh, you know, throw a couple pieces of iron block there. You know, this is starting to look a little bit like a helicopter. I'm, if you didn't know this already, I'm really good at building. 
So like I'm a building professional. But uh, here, I just gotta add the like propellers at the top, uh, and then you know it'll it'll look like a certified certified helicopter helicopter. Come on, maybe I'll throw in a block of cobblestone here instead. Uh, you know, grab this, and bring this out here. Three, that, two, three. That's a no, <laughs> no. Oh no! Stepping back and looking at this, it looks real goofy here let me extend that and get rid of you know maybe get rid of oh get rid of those and get rid of these nah this is not making it look any better how about that and then i put one of put some glass here nah okay well my sad helicopter it is what it is but my helicopter building skills are besides my point let me go ahead and select my region here. So I'm gonna grab this wrench and I'm gonna go from here down to, down to, let's see, there we go. It gives you a visualization from there to there. And I'm gonna go ahead and break my cobblestone blocks that I don't really need right now. Then what I'm gonna use, so you can see my region is selected, it's all good. I'm gonna use two of these control things this time. I'm gonna have one there, but I'm gonna have one on the ceiling too. So this, if I go ahead and interact with both of these, is gonna make it go diagonally up. So you can see now it actually works diagonally. So it's actually, you know, making my helicopter fly diagonally up and I can fly it up like an actual helicopter. But let's say I wanna go up, you know, at a normal pace, but I want to, uh, come on. I want to move forward a lot faster. I'm gonna just boost this up to like two blocks per second. I think this might just be doing the whole thing diagonally. But I mean, I'm in this helicopter, it's working, it's moving. You can see out the door, oh, I'm falling through it. But the helicopter is actually flying right now. Like, look at this. I mean, you can't tell me that's not that's not pretty cool. So, and then being able to be on top of the helicopter as it flies, you know, it, it's pretty neat stuff. You know, this is, this is pretty cool. Okay, let me turn these off. I feel like I'm gonna turn one of them off and it's just gonna keep going, but let's see. Hold on, I gotta take this out of home mode. I mean, out of uh, speed mode. There we go. And then, oh, it's still going up. There we go, okay. Um, so yeah, you can see all the different, there's a lot of things you can do with that. I wanna try and make, the thing with like stuff on the ground is that if it runs into a block, it's gonna stop. So you have to make sure that it's not gonna run into a block and also that the area that you're selecting doesn't include any uh, blocks. So I'm gonna go ahead and build out I'm gonna build a car. So I'm gonna give myself uh, this area to work with. This is my area. And then I'm gonna try to, you know, let's let's build a car. And I'm gonna send it off. This car is just gonna, maybe I'll have to build a road too. Um, but we're gonna start with a car. So I need blocks of coal because every car tire is made out of blocks of coal. You know, you should know this if you've played Minecraft before. I mean, obviously it's just a fact of life, um, you know, outside of even Minecraft, let's see. Okay, so, you know, this is, um, this is, trust me, if I was wanted to, I could build better than uh, this, um, I promise. Uh, um, uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and build, that looks like, this looks like a car with, you know, wheels that like can drive and stuff. Let's see, there we go, there we go, get some of that, some of that, oh yeah. This is like a vroom vroom car, like cargo vroom vroom. <laughs> oh no, what have I made? What in the world have I made? I mean, we're out here making vroom vroom cars. Nah, man, nah, okay. This, well, this is a cursed car, but it's a car. <laughs> it is a car. Anyway, I'm just trying to show off the add on, not my building skills here. Uh, we're gonna set my first and second position. So this should just be this whole uh, little vehicle thing right here. And then I'm gonna build a road out here, which I can uh, build by just filling this with like, I don't know, gray concrete or something. There we go, I've made myself a little road. This is gonna look wonky as heck, but hey, I'm gonna throw the steering wheel right here. By steering wheel, I mean the control panel and then I'm gonna interact with this and the car go vroom but of course this is too slow for a car we need to get this thing up to speed two blocks a second 3.2 blocks a second this car is zooming it's like actually driving along my road i've got my road here and then i've got my car 
you know, just driving along the road casually. Look at this. It's a Minecraft car. It actually works. It's it's driving itself down the road. I don't know. This is pretty neat. I definitely think this is a cool add-on. I don't feel like it's really fair to- Oh, and now it's just gonna keep going. I don't feel like it's really fair to rate this add-on because it's so unique, but I do love the fact that it works in survival. Now, the only thing is deleting these areas, which you can kind of see how the area moves with the thing. If I try to delete an area, I'm gonna make one and try to delete it just to show you how it's kind of frustrating. So I'm gonna make an area like- Oh, I connected an area. See, look, like I tried to make a new one and then it didn't like do what I wanted it to do. Stop, stop, no, I gotta get out of, no, okay, no more home mode, turn it off, there we go, so I'm gonna go ahead and make an area like from here to here, look at this, so it says area connected, but then let's say I want to delete it, well you're theoretically supposed to be able to like click off of it and then click somewhere in it and it deletes it, so you can see it's probably gonna work perfectly every time now that I'm in a video, but you can see now I'm trying to do it and it's connecting the area and then it was deleting it. So when you have a lot of little areas, it can get kind of difficult. You can see now area connected, area connected. Like I just want to, I just want to delete the area and I can select here and here and now it'll delete. But now I had some other ones that might be underground somewhere. Yeah. So you can see it does get a little annoying. So if I had one thing to say about this Elon, it's that I hope they have a new item for the purpose of deleting the areas. I definitely think that would be good. Um, if you are interested in checking out this add-on, as always, there will be a link in the description. You can download the add-on there directly from the creator's uh, MCPEDL page, so go support them. As always, this is a very cool add-on. I could see this being used for a lot of stuff. I believe there are ways as well to like increase the speed beyond what I set it to. I think you have to go into the config file to do that. Uh, you might just have to, it might be something in the Minecraft settings. Not entirely sure about that. It probably says on the page and I just haven't gotten there yet. Um, I thought I read through the whole thing, but I'm not good at reading. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you made it to here, check this out and out. Subscribe to my music channel. There should be a link in the description. See you later and goodbye.